أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم viewers السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته uh, the segment today I'm going to be talking about journalism journalism is very important in the world that we live in sometimes we watch television and you act certain way because of uh, the information that they've been bombarded with you on the television can you imagine in the desert of Arabia over 1400 years ago the messenger of Allah صلى الله was in Medina and how is he going to sell Islam to the people we have the unbelievers, we have the mushrik, we have the pagans, we have the Jew, and then we have the Muslims. Now, all these groups and entities are knowledgeable to some degree. So, the Muslims are hungry for knowledge. But how could the Messenger of Allah make each and every group accept his information that he brought from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Then Allah released the ayah in the Quran. وَخَالَتَاكَ حَدِيثُ مُوسَى إِذْ رَآ نَارَ Look at this verse. This, this, this verse contains a lot of journalistic ideas. Have you heard the story of Moses? Says the verse. So right away, the pagans, what is Muhammad talking about? Moses. We have the Jews who are very Moses-like. They know everything. And then the Jews say, what is he talking about? Moses, we are Moses. Let's go and listen to Abu Qasim. Maybe he made a mistake because we don't believe he's the prophet of Allah. Then the Muslim also, they want to know, yes, Ya Rasulullah, tell us what happened to Moses. So during that, you know, uh, 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 stalemate, the unbelievers came along. They want to hear if Muhammad made a mistake, they will go and tell the Jew and the Jew will, you know, say Muhammad is wrong because they know Moses more than Muhammad. That's what they think. Then the unbelievers also were there. The pagans were there. They said, man, let's go, man. Abul Qasim, Muhammad is going to make a lot of mistakes. And the Jew, they are going to put him straight because he doesn't know anything about Moses. Let's go and hear what's going to happen. The Jewish came. The unbelievers came. The Mushri came. And the Muslims were saying, Ya Rasulullah, what happened to... They were hungry to hear about Moses. Then Muhammad began. Isra'a Nara. He saw a fire. And then he said, let me go to the fire. Maybe I will meet some people who will show me the terrain of the valley. Or maybe I will ask a few questions. This is Musa thinking the fire that Allah is baiting him with. He was thinking physical that I, I'm going to go there. Maybe I will see those who put on the fire so they will guide me. I will ask them a few questions. Or maybe they will tell me where the water well is so I could get some water for my family. So he was thinking like that. But Allah is dangling the fire to him to come. To the end of the verse. What happened was that when Moses went there, that's when Allah spoke to Moses. So Muhammad was narrating the incidents that there is no way, no how for him to understand. The Jewish were there. The unbelievers were saying, you, the Jewish, is he right? They were hoping that he's wrong. The Mushrik were hoping that Muhammad is wrong. So everybody was looking towards the Jew. They said, well, he's, he's right. Whatever he's saying is the truth. That is journalism. Journalism is the ability to sell your information without causing trouble to each and every group. Look, South Africa, during the apartheid period, do you know that they sell their one daily South African newspaper? They could sell it to, um, to, the, to the African, sell it to the Indians, sell it to the blacks and everybody else. One piece. But this is how they do it. If they want to sell it to the black community, they will write, Mandela is at peace. So they will bring that part of the newspaper with the headline in front of the newspaper to the black community. If they see that, they will buy. They want to see what, you know, a Mandela did. The same newspaper, they take it to the Indian part of uh, South Africa, apartheid. They put everybody apart. So when they get there, they're not going to show the face of, uh, you know, Mandela, but they will get a prominent leader within the Indian subcontinent. They will put his picture and they will make a story and then people will say, oh, that's our brother. They will buy. The same newspaper, they take it to the white community, the African, and they put Bota's name or his picture making a speech. So if they see, they will buy because it's one of them. You see, that is the reason why they do this is that if they put Mandela's picture in front of the 
cover picture, I mean, a newspaper to the white community, they will not buy for the fact that Mandela's picture is there. If they put the Indian picture on the cover face of the newspaper, take it to a black community, they won't buy because it doesn't concern them. So they do it in three different newspapers. The cover is different, but inside the information is the same, just so they will beg people exactly what Allah did to the people of Medina. Musa, have you heard the story of Moses? The Mushrik say, what is Abu Qasim Muhammad is talking about Moses? He doesn't know about Moses. Let's go. He's going to make a blunder. We will laugh at him. Then the Jewish say, Musa, it's ours. You know what? Let's go in here, Abu Qasim. What is he talking about Musa? They will come, hoping that Muhammad will trip and they will catch him as a forger. Then the Muslims were there, hungry for knowledge. They were along too. So when all this group came along, the Quranic, the, the messenger began to recite the Quran, begin to recite, and the Jewish, they realized Definitely the messenger Muhammad is speaking the truth concerning something that there is no way for him to understand or to know. That in itself is the miracle of using words in the Quran, which makes a lot of people accept Islam right there and then because of the truthfulness of the Quran. That's what the Quran said. Those whom the book was given, they know Islam and they know Muhammad like their own children. Allah Akbar. Hazawbillahi Tofi. Wassalamu alaikum. Warhamatullahi ta'ala. Wa barakatuh.